Time to play with some clay. Well, another day, and uh, let's see how far I can get on it today. I'm still amazed by the uh, softness of this clay, right down deep into it, just from that light, that far away from it, unbelievable. Anyway, um, somebody looked up the kind of clay I've got, and I guess this is a new clay that came out uh, about two weeks ago, maybe a week ago, at least that's what he said, and uh, it's a hard clay. Uh, they've got a medium and a soft clay, but they come in a different colors. I think uh, orange, or not orange, but terracotta is uh, the soft clay, or the medium clay. And uh, I got the uh, hard clay, which is okay. I mean, it's no big deal. I'll handle it. I got to uh, tighten that screw just a little bit. The uh, clay is starting to shift on the board. And it's because of the uh, armature. It's uh, just a dowel, wooden dowel, and it's a round one at that, so it's not the clay's fault, it's my fault. There we go. All right, I'll. Uh, Continue working on this. I think I'm going to work on the neck today. See what I can come up with. I'm going to try something. I'm going to heat up my sculpting tool a little bit. Not much, just enough to... Because it doesn't take much heat for this stuff. I just want to see what uh, happens here. Yeah, that works pretty good. You don't strain the uh, wire tool as much. I'm going to have to have my rag up here, though. I think I'd rather use a smaller wire tool for this small piece. Should have done a little bit bigger clay, but well, that's what I did. I'm thinking I'm going to make this an Indian, and the reason I'm thinking that is because I want to see how a war bonnet would work out with feathers, because uh, Making feathers is very complicated when you're doing a regular clay like I usually use. And I want to see if I can simplify it a bit by using uh, this stuff. And uh, if it works, then what I can do is when I work with regular clay, instead of using wax, I can use this clay for the stuff that needs heavy detail but needs to have a little more strength to it. <clears throat> I don't know what I'll do, quite honestly. I'm just sort of sitting here talking out loud to myself. Alright, I've got a bunch of tools that I collected over the years and I just never found any use for. This uh, little tool here with the, uh, I'm going to put this over here because my every time I talk, the flame goes out. Anyway, this has a little loop, but it's, it's a thicker than a wire loop. It's more like a cutting loop. And uh, this is a wider one. And I think these are going to be handy with this kind of clay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to
clean all these tools. They've been sitting in my limbo box. In other words, in other words, tools that I had but I never found any use for. And uh, and for instance, this tool here with the uh, round tip on it and the stiff uh, rubber tip on the end, I could never figure out how to use that with my JMAC clay. And I think it wasn't meant for JMAC. I think it was meant for this kind of clay or even wax. So I'll just continue cleaning my tools and uh, I got a bunch of these small ball tools that uh, I use, but now I'm going to have even more use for them. The uh, silicone tip tool that I was using won't be as useful for this kind of clay as, uh, well, my fingers, quite honestly. Because it's too stiff and uh, the silicone will just break. Anyway, side you got to clean your tools every once in a while anyway, so it's a good excuse. By the way, I've set up my large mannequin uh, that I got from Sculpture, I mean not Sculpture, but from uh, anatomytools.com, and uh, it gives me a good view of the neck muscles and chest muscles and things like that. It's really handy to have. They are not cheap. I don't know what they run right now, but believe me, I had to save up for that one. You know, what I'm finding out is, uh, like I said before, the uh, some of these tools are more handy now than they were with the uh, other clay that I use. But I've got uh, neck muscles that uh, have striations and I just, I just, I don't need to do this, but I thought, you know, let's try and see. And you know, the nice thing about this clay is I can put the striation for the, uh, the muscle into this clay, which I couldn't do with the other clay. I mean, I could, but it wouldn't last very long because as soon as I started working around it, it would disappear or be obliterated. But this clay might just be better for that type of stuff. If you want to learn how to do anatomy, this might be the best way to do it, is with this kind of clay because uh, it's forgiving and uh, it holds its shape really well. Huh, interesting. Anyway, they just thought I'd come in and show you what I was doing. I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm really liking this clay and uh, I like the color of it because it makes it easy to see what you're doing and uh, you're a little more comfortable with uh, working on it at odd angles than you would with the other kind of clay. Of course, this is a small one, so... But even then, it just... Uh, I'm liking it. I'm going to quit for the night because uh, I didn't get much chance to work on this clay today. Maybe handling it in your hands like this is not a bad thing to do either. I've seen sculptors on YouTube who do this and they work without having it attached to the board and I always thought how silly but it really is a, a good thing to do anyway all right good night everybody and I'll see you next time give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.